How's it going guys? So in today's animation quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to take a really boring animation like this and be able to take it and look more fluid and more professional like this, like you see in the sci-fi movies to make your, your animation and your plane look really cool and seamless. Now I'm gonna provide this model in the description and this blend file from the tube setup that will be available in the description as well. You can see how it's kind of low topology. You'll just go up here into, and uh, you know, pop this up and you get better looking, a uh, better looking plane. First thing though, I want to shout out that my abstract modeling and animation course is live. You can pre-order it now and get it 40% off. I do a deep dive into procedural modeling. I do another deep dive into procedural texturing. We make some really cool scenes. So you can go check that out again, 40% off right now until the 27th. With that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so we're here in the scene. You can open up the blend file with the tube. And if you want to get the model imported, you go to file, append, find the blend file with the ship, go to object and import the Imperial Eagle. Now, so I have my um, my plane just going straight down the tube here. You can see the sort of depth of field kind of goofed up. But again, just the, the camera is going straight through the tube. What we're gonna do is click on the Imperial Eagle, hold down control, click on the camera, control P, parent. And so now the object is following the camera. Now, a lot of beginners, this is kind of all they do. And so what I want to do is show you a really easy way to add another level of animation and detail. We're going to add three levels of animation here to make it look really, really nice. So what we're going to do is click on the Imperial Eagle. And then I'm going to go right here to this little yellow box. And we're going to play with the Y position. So I'm going to bring it close to the camera here. Now go to your edit preferences and make sure that your default interpolation here in the animation tab is on Bezier. That's going to give us a smooth transition for, from one motion to the next. Now, click on the keyframe. We'll go all the way over here, something like this, and add that keyframe now here in the middle. We'll go and bring it forward. So what that does is complete the animation. So it starts at one spot, it ends at the same spot, and then that middle part is where it goes to. So now we can have this guy going forward and back. And if that's too quick for you, you can just drag the keyframes a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is go to the very end here, add the, the same keyframe here. So again, it's going to loop. And here in the, in the middle, I'm gonna bring him way farther in the front, just like that. So we get a really dynamic forward and back motion. So let's check out how that looks. So what's doing that, now let's add another level of animation. So let's get in this Y rotation of the ship. So we'll start here and then we'll click the keyframe. We'll go to something like right here, click the keyframe, go to the, you know, the, the relative middle here and then click the keyframe. And then now we have him doing that kind of motion there and going back. So that's really cool. And then we'll go here, duplicate that keyframe. So something like somewhere over here and then in the middle, we'll bring it over a little bit, import, and then let's see how that looks. I said import, I meant insert the keyframe. And so we're just really eyeballing these animations here. So now we have a little bit of rotation and he's going back and forth. So now we have that. Let's add the last level of detail and that is the Z position of our ship. So let's go here to the bottom. So what we're gonna do is click keyframe on the Z Go all the way over here, click the keyframe again, go to the middle, bring him up, way up here so it's cool, and then let's press play. And look at that. We now have a really cool ship animating through. He's kind of intersecting here, but you still get the idea. I wouldn't keep that there. And now we have an incredibly cool animation. It's way more fluid and everything looks cool rather than just parenting the uh, the ship to the camera and leaving it there. So there you go. That's how you do that. Add some more detail in your animation. Again, if you want to get my course 40% off, that is linked in the description. And thank you for watching.